Many woodlands lack open space like this, yet it is one of the most important habitats for wildlife, and so too is the transition between the mature woodland and the open space. Opening up areas to allow sunlight to reach the woodland floor creates a warm, bright and sheltered habitat, allowing grasses and other flowering plants to flourish. This in turn attracts a wide range of wildlife, including birds, mammals, reptiles and a whole range of insects. If you want to create some really good open habitat, it doesn't mean you've got to cut down lots of trees. Instead, sensitive and informed management of existing tracks, known as rides, can create excellent wildlife habitat with little extra effort. They are also a great way of linking up open habitat inside and outside your wood. The key to making your rides great for wildlife is to create a graded transition from mature trees to the ride centre. The best rides have three zones of vegetation at different heights. Firstly, you have the ride centre and the edges to either side. This should be short grass cut every year, ideally at the end of the summer. Small areas of bare ground can be good for invertebrates, reptiles and flora, so allow a bit of scuffing and scraping from machinery when you mow your rides. Secondly, there is a zone of taller vegetation cut every two to four years, ideally on a rotation so that different areas are cut each year. This provides year-round, low, dense shelter, and seed heads are an important food source for animals over winter. It's also ideal habitat for the food plants of many rare and beautiful butterflies. And thirdly, a zone of shrubs and young trees, which provides the final transitional phase into the mature woodland behind. To stop this from developing into mature woodland, it should be cut or coppiced every five to 20 years, again on rotation, where different sections are cut in different years. This is a great breeding site for butterflies like the Purple Emperor and an important nesting site for birds and small mammals such as dormice. The aim is to create as much habitat diversity as possible. Some scattered mature trees can be retained. If it's not possible to have three zone rides throughout your wood, then sections with only one or two vegetation zones, interspersed with three zone sections, will also have great biodiversity benefit. When you have your basic ride structure in place, you can then make a few extra tweaks to make it even better for wildlife. You may want to consider creating scallops, which are areas to the sides of the rides that are cut out from the adjacent woodland. Enlarging the open space allows more sunlight to reach the ride and edge, particularly on rides running east to west, where scallops receive up to twice as much sunlight as those on a north-south ride. Scallops are also a great option if you don't have space in your wood to create glades. At intervals, Every 50 metres or so, depending on the size of your wood, it can also be good to leave some mature trees on either side of the ride so that their canopies touch. These pinch points are important for species like dormice as it allows them to cross the ride while staying up in the canopy. Opening up your rides is great on a practical level as it creates drier, more effective access tracks. It's also a fantastic and easy way to increase the wildlife value of your woodland.